Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jared with Stata Tech, and I'm gonna talk about the top five reasons that you would choose the Pixel 2 over the iPhone 10. So I've got both the devices here. Uh, I got this on launch day and have been using the Pixel 2 XL for quite some time now and have had the iPhone 10 for a little while now, not since launch day, but I've had it for a little while now. Um, and I, I think I have some solid reasons as to why you would choose the Pixel over the iPhone 10. Uh, and then it, for those of you that want to see the other side of the uh, of the story, uh, make sure to check out the next video or maybe you, you came from that video and are coming over to this this one, um, but check out the reasons why you might want to choose the iPhone over the iPhone 10 over the Pixel 2. So the top five reasons, uh, we're going to start out with the camera. I mean, I have both of these phones and I've been using them together. I've been going out and shooting a lot of photos, a lot of video clips in many different situations, uh, whether it be nice, natural lit situations outside. Um, semi okay lit situations inside my home or even at a concert where the lighting is chaotic and uh, you know really bright in uh, in one area um, but dark everywhere else I mean the the pixel hands down just did a better job across the board so camera is great it handles everything with a single camera so you don't have to have that dual camera stuff that the iPhone and many other phones have. One single camera handles all of it, gets amazing photos, gets it, put it in portrait mode. It takes great portraits. It does better with one camera doing a portrait mode than the iPhone 10 does with two cameras. I don't know, figure that out. It's all in the software, I guess, but Google with the Pixel 2 has figured it out. The cameras are top notch. Uh, and you can follow me on social media. I'll put my Instagram links below. Um, there are a lot of photos that I've taken uh, there with the Pixel. Uh, I'll do my best to go back and kind of retag some of them so that you could see which ones are Pixel, which ones are iPhone 10, um, and judge for yourself. So second is the speakers. Now, one of the reasons that the Pixel doesn't have a screen that goes all the way from the top to the bottom, meaning that there's kind of a, a forehead and a chin on the phone here, some bezels, is that it has front firing speakers, stereo speakers, which a lot of phones don't have these days, especially as we're trying to get away from having any bezels and move the screen to the outer edges of the phone. The Pixel here has a little bit of a chin and a little bit of a uh, forehead, but you get dual firing speakers and they sound great. If you wanna see an example, you'll wanna make sure to check out my Pixel XL review, my Pixel 2 XL review, and I'll show you kind of uh, how that sounds there um, in comparison to some other phones. Uh, so another thing is Android 8. Now, Android has just been great for the last several versions. Um, and Android 8 has features that Apple is not giving us in iOS 11 unless you're maybe on an iPad or something like that. For example, picture in picture on Android 8, it just is super cool to be able to have a little map down in the corner you can respond to that text message, do whatever you need to do on your phone while not missing that turn. Uh, and of course, even YouTube videos and stuff like that. I mean, the picture in picture is way more useful to me than the split screen apps, which is also a feature. You could do the split screen apps, but the picture in picture is just great. It allows me to have something going on. Um, not all apps are supported, obviously, and more are adding support for it, but the picture in picture is great. So split screen apps, picture in picture, um, you know, those are just great features of, of Android um, that you get and you get that on Pixel. Obviously, those are things that are missing or that Apple has not integrated yet. Um, a fingerprint scanner, of course, uh, on the Pixel 2, we have the fingerprint scanner in the back center of the phone, which I think is the most ideal location for a fingerprint scanner. I don't like having it down at the bottom of the phone. It forces you to hold your larger phone in a weird way to unlock it, potentially having it topple over. Um, the fingerprint scanner on the back of the phone is just Great. I mean, I've been using that fingerprint scanner uh, a lot. I've also been using Face ID. 
Face ID, you kind of have to be more in line with your phone. If I'm laying in bed on the side of my head or something like that, Face ID isn't going to unlock my phone for me. I have to be more direct on with my phone. Whereas with the fingerprint scanner, I could be unlocking my phone while it's on its way out of my pocket uh, or as I pick it up from the table. Um, it's just, I think, a little bit easier to use a fingerprint scanner than Face ID. Face ID is getting uh, better as, it, um, as I unlock it with my face more but there still are a lot of situations where you're just flat out not going to be able to unlock your phone. Um, you know, for example, if you were wearing, uh, you know, something to cover up your face quite a bit, uh, and that's something not natural or not normal to the way that you unlock your phone, it's going to cause a problem. So fingerprint scanner is still a really good thing to have. I'm glad that it's on the Pixel because I don't like what I've seen as far as, um, like face ID type of unlocking uh, that, you know, are on other devices. I won't name any names, but the iris scanning on the other devices just isn't really that great. Um, so, and lastly, the fifth reason to choose the Pixel 2 or Pixel XL is Google Assistant being built in. Google Assistant is hands down way better than Siri, way better than Cortana. Um, it's just the best assistant that's out there. I'm I mean, not sure I understand. Siri got mad at me, my Apple Watch. Anyways, that's funny. Um, and that, right to my point, is that Google Assistant is just way better. Um, you can squeeze the phone to activate it, which on the iPhone X to activate Siri, you can press and hold down the button and it will activate Siri. So those are, those are ways that you can activate without actually having to say the verbal command, which is what kept me from using Google Assistant a lot. I didn't want to use the verbal command followed by what I wanted to talk to the phone, to tell the phone. It was just kind of awkward, but now that I can just squeeze the phone and say what I need to say into the phone, it feels more like I'm on a phone call or something. It isn't awkward uh, around people, and I just like that experience. Plus, Google Assistant can do all sorts of things, including launch music and applications that are not Apple's uh, music app. You're locked in, in in Siri. You're not able to launch music in any other app like Spotify or something like that. So with Google Assistant, it's allowing you to open up music, open up videos, do anything that you want in any of the apps that you have on your phone. It does a really good job at it, and Google Assistant is just hands down better. I would even say that Google Assistant is better on the iPhone than Siri itself, uh, which you know I might even do a whole video on if if you all find that interesting and want to see a comparison between Siri and Google Assistant on uh, the iPhone or iPhone 10. Um, but anyways, that's five reasons why I think you should choose the Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL over an iPhone 10. Links are in the description below if you wanted to pick one of these up. They have them on Amazon. Amazon has decent prices. They've also been you know, pretty well in stock with the Google uh, store as well. But Amazon, get that quick shipping and all that good stuff. Um, with that Prime, you could definitely pick one up. So check out the links in the description below. If you didn't see it yet, check out the five reasons why you might choose an iPhone over the Pixel. It's good to know both sides. That's why we did both videos. So make sure to check out that video and click subscribe so that you can be notified when we put out new videos here on State of Tech. Thanks so much.